Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of DB Thai itself and today episode I'll be reviewing Tripod Tetea Foteo You can call it by that way uh, But yeah, basically I'll be reviewing that car right now So let's dive straight to this video right now Alright then, so here is guys the car itself So basically, uh, let me just show you guys some of the damages for this car itself Unfortunately for this car, it's also another high managed car that uh, I'm going to review in this video itself So if you guys saw my previous, my last week upload, which is the Toyota Vios from Trike Car itself, that car actually has close to, I would say close to 230,000 kilometers. For this car itself, it has close to 188,000 kilometers itself. So yeah, but on that, let me just show you guys some of the damages for this car wise right now. So yeah, uh, so speaking on the outside right now, basically got this very obvious huge dent right here, one right here and one right here itself. And even, I think these two damage we are showing you guys just now, I think if you look from the side, it's very obvious it gets caught those two dents over there itself um so yeah that's um, that's the downside for this these are the two obvious damage wise right? if you were to step very far away you can obviously notice that two dents right there moving on i think you got another dent right here itself so yeah this is another one right here itself so yep and you guys can see this the door handle has been very heavily used so yeah that, you can say this has been a well look after car by i think maybe multiple owners you can say so yeah uh, now let's move on to the next damage which is right here on the pillar of the car itself which is this dent right here so yeah not too sure how it caused it but i'm sure i think this type actually when it reaches the end of its lifespan it's, i feel that, in my opinion i think most probably it's going to be scrapped by right? so yeah more, i think that's the reason why they do not want to repair the car itself so yeah but um okay in my last video i talked about the headlight itself headlight wise for this right there isn't any discoloration itself but one thing i noticed is i think one of the one side of the headlight is not really functioning at all so only one either left or the right hand side is functioning at well and the other is not so yeah moving on you got more damage wise i don't really quite damage but i think maybe the coloring the the paint coat is, or the paint is coming out itself so basically there's some right here and it's quite all over the car itself so basically you can see it itself so yeah wait then one more right here itself this is quite obvious and that, let's move on the side, not the front, nothing much of, no obvious damage other than this one more right here itself and right here itself. So, yeah, last but not least, I think the rear there isn't any obvious damage other than some scuffing over the tire itself. But this, this is the one that I really don't know how it happened itself. So, yeah, other than that, that's all for the damages for this car itself. Overall, um, uh, that's basically that's, uh. That's how I say for the damages for this car itself. Now let me just show you the trunk space. So to assess the trunk itself, it's also at the same method as the Vios itself, which is you can see technically assess it through the lever right here itself, which is how to pull it. The lever will open up. So it should open up for you guys. So yeah. So luckily for this, the trunk uh, re release handle is working, so you're able to assess the trunk through the inside. But if not, I think there's always a secondary method which is to use the key. So this is the key for the car itself. If anyone's wondering, to uh, basically to get in the car and start the car, and I think this is also to lock the car itself. Same for the trunk wise. So basically to lock the trunk, to sorry to access the trunk, the secondary method would be just using the keyhole right there itself. But other than that, um, this is basically this is the trunk space for the car itself. So yeah, and I think by right they don't come with pre-installed light in the car itself which i think for this car since it's under track they decide to make it much more better and more easier for people to see at night when they're loading stuff itself so yeah overall trunk trunk is quite big itself as you guys can see it's definitely much bigger than the Toyota Vios itself which i reviewed last week as well so probably you can put more stuff inside maybe a big suitcase and maybe a small suitcase inside here wouldn't be a problem same goes for maybe some other miscellaneous junk that you want to throw inside right here itself but other than that uh that's all for the trunk space alternatively if you guys want more space in the car itself you can always pull this lever itself to access to uh fold down the rear seat itself so i think once you pull that the seat should technically drop right down if not i think it should technically pull much harder itself so yeah i think it's the trunk yeah, yeah just like that so the seat just fold down itself and you have much more cargo space but the much more cargo space in the car itself the only downside if you guys can see is, is not, there's this gap you see this is the tile of the, the 
chunk space but the only problem i have is you can't load much bigger stuff right through itself so if you want to load much more bigger stuff right in it will be definitely hitting the top part of it itself so yeah other than that that's all for the trunk wise so let me just show you guys the rear seat of the car right now but let me just put this right up and i'll try to drive in a moment for the rear seat of the car itself so give me a sec all right then now let's step right into the rear seat of the car, the car itself the kia itself so stepping right into the car itself isn't a big problem but one thing uh so basically so yeah all right then so yeah stepping right into the kia itself isn't a big problem because the doors opening do open quite wide and this is the maximum it goes so me getting in I, I don't have a problem at all but once inside itself i do have a small problem which is you guys can see my leg room is almost maybe a uh, half a fist one and a half fist and that's all i have my, for my leg room rise itself head room rise not too bad because one thing for this time i noticed is getting right in you sit slightly lower itself so uh see you're sitting slightly lower than you're sitting quite low itself not that low towards the ground but low enough that you still have ample of headroom wife for me itself so that's a plus side for this car itself uh now in the rear itself what do you get well you get some storage pocket right here to put your stuff if you want to put any stuff right behind here you also get unfortunately do not get any door pocket right here to put your stuff it's the only thing you can put is maybe to close the door itself and also to get out the car itself but other than that that's all for the rear of the car itself you also uh you got some window switches to to roll down the window if you want if not you can just grab handles on on all uh nearly on all four sides the car itself which is one here one there and one right here itself um but yeah basically that's all for the car itself now let's move on to the next thing which is the central lighting well central lighting is very very simple itself if right now it's in off position but if i'm on the light i can just turn on fully or just leave it in center when the car doors is open and also if i'm not wrong this should not be the original lighting that's in the car itself because i think the original one should be a non LED. i could be wrong but it could be a non led one so this probably could have been swapped uh when he was uh, when he's when he entered tribe car fleet itself same goes for the front which i'll show you at the end of this video itself so yeah but i think that well do you get in this car itself well he got one good thing is that's better than the vehicle really straight up is you get armrest you have to rest your arm on and you should get two cup holders right here itself so let me just unlike for you guys to see it look so basically yeah basically you get two cup holders right here there isn't anything right here itself but two cup holders to put your drink right here or alternatively you can just rest an arm on but if not you can actually technically carry three people in this car because the transmission tunnel is not that big like not that high compared to some of its rival itself so yeah but i think the vios is still slightly better in my opinion because uh at least you could maybe carry more people i could be wrong but i think in my opinion if you ask me will i pick the vios or this will i pick the vios or this this kia i would say i'll go with this kia because i think it's slightly it is much younger than the vios if, if you talk if you talk about the first generation like so this car came out in 2009 if i'm not wrong while the vehicle came in came out in 2007 so yeah but all right let me just get back to the topic which i want to mention about so right now as you guys can see i'm sitting in the center of the car itself uh if you ask me can this carry three full grown size adult i would say probably uh it'll definitely be a tight space because you'll be touching shoulder to shoulder itself so that would be a main problem itself but other than that uh if you're okay with carrying three full grown size adult on a, short trip then wouldn't be a problem but long journey wise i think it will be a screech because def you'll be definitely fighting for space in this car itself but other than that that's all for the rear itself now let me guys show you guys the front seat of the car right now so first before i show you guys that this is what the front the in the dashboard of the car look like so yeah also to note that screen right there is not the standard infotainment screen that come with the, this car itself this has been swapped out with uh aftermarket one so uh yeah I think you need most of the car, rent, car sharing company they always do this itself which don't understand why but i think maybe just provide a better this is at least better than the the 90s uh better than the just the radio itself this has a full touch screen system which i'll show you guys later on and also here so it also has a reversing camera and if i'm not wrong this car does not have it but somehow they managed to fit a reversing camera to this car itself so yeah other than that let me just show you guys the front right now so let go 
All right, then now let's get out the car itself. So getting out the car is a big issue, which I mentioned earlier on where this car actually has a big opening, so you can get out and get in quite simple. So yeah, me getting out right now isn't a big problem at all. Getting to the front, so yeah, this is right now entering the driver's seat of the car itself, and this is what it looked like. So yeah, the actually this is the front of the, this is how the interior looks like itself. So yeah. Alright then, let me see if I could do this on the light. Okay, so basically this is how the interior looks like itself. So let me just show you guys some of the, the love storage space for this car wise. So st the storage compartment wise, as you guys can see, not really the biggest itself. Um, probably I think I could put my small bag which I normally bring around with me. I think my small bag which I normally carry around with me should be able to put inside here with some, some other stuff in the bag itself. So yeah, if, if I want to hide my stuff here, a, a, a small sling bag, I think that wouldn't be a problem at all. So, yeah, but other than that, I think you could also technically put other stuff here if you want to. So, yeah, moving on. Moving on, you got a small, you got a second storage space right here, which is stuff if you want to you put your wallet or your keys or your mobile phone, you can put them right here. And same, if not, if you do not want to put here, you can also always put them right here itself which is a third option where you want if a third option for you is to put your right to put your stuff in so yeah but other than that that's all for the all the storage area that you could put in this car itself let me just show you guys the cup holders right now the cup holders itself is just standard you got two cup holders right here if you want to put in the center if not you can always put them at the side of the door being on the front side on either the driver's side or the passenger side as well so yeah uh moving on you got a typical regular handbrake right here, which is very very simple and self-explanatory on how to operate it itself. Same goes for the gear shifter, which is basically just need to uh press on the brake itself and just drop down to whatever gear that you want. And if you want to use somehow you want to use you want to shift this time uh manual mode, you can always shift it to the right. Once you're down in D, you just shift to the left, and you can just shift up or shift down to whatever uh gear that you want yourself so yeah or if you're feeling a bit sporty you can always do that yourself so yeah all right then now let's move on to the next part which you got uh for this car itself somehow it has a 12 volt socket outlet i apologize if you can't really see it but there's a 12 volt socket outlet right here there's a aux port and also a usb type a port right here itself so yeah other than that nothing else to talk about it really so let's move on to the next part which is the ac control AC controls very very simple itself. You got your fan speed, you got your uh which circulation or air is how or sorry or basically this down in the center is telling you guys how you want to manage the airflow in this car itself, which you can just adjust it according to how you like it. And same for this as well. So this is the fan speed, this is the temperature itself. So yeah. Last but not least, you got three buttons right at the top itself, on top of the dial itself. You got your AC button, you got a rear heat defrost but the rear windscreen defrost button and you got recirculate air button itself somehow these two buttons even though they are working they don't really light up itself so that's one thing maybe you guys have to take note for yourself so yeah oh and then let's move on to the last part which is right at the top it's just your header light switch nothing special itself just a header, header light switch to indicate people your there's a danger in front of you so yeah all right then now let's move on to the next part which is you got this very small button right here itself which is the trip button this trip button i'll show you guys later what it does but mainly does the only thing it controls is this small screen right here itself so yeah and that nothing else it, there's nothing else it, it can be this is the this is the only button that controls the gauges itself uh. so yeah all right then now let's move on to the next thing which is you got your wiper stock right here itself to engage it just all the way down to disengage all the way up itself so yeah and to so, and to wash the windscreen, you just need to pull back and it will just wash the windscreen with the fluid with the fluid inside itself. To If you just want one quick swipe, you just need to go up and it will just do one quick swipe for you guys. Alright then, let's move on to the other side, which is you got your indicators and your light switch. Light switch button itself. For the indicator, it's very, very simple. Just up or down itself. Light switch itself, just this knob itself. So, yeah. Alright then, um... Basically, that is all for the stock itself. Now, let me just show you guys the buttons on the 
we will sell. For this, I have to turn on account which I'll show you guys in a moment. But basically, got your volume switch right here. I think uh mode. This this two button. I mean, this up and down button. I have no idea what it does. Same for the mode button. But for this, I think it should be in conjunction with the volume switch button. Yep. So yeah. Alright then. Now let's move on to the next part, which is you got your controls on off on on the driver side so basically you got your mirror adjustment switch right here you got your lock to lock the car itself and also so yeah sorry this is your lock and unlock button itself then this prevent people from rolling down the windows and you got your mirror control switches right here itself so yeah other than that it's very very self very self experimentary really. so yeah also, one thing that I have to share with you guys is do take note is for this car itself, if you were to rent it, some of the bits actually starting to be very loose already. So like, like this plastic bit right here, which you can see me adjusting channel at the start, is falling off. It's, not, it's like one to fall off already itself. Maybe because they changed the uh, screen itself, that's why see some of the parts really is going to fall off itself. Not the best quality they've done and it, see the plastic bit also broke off maybe from the installation of the this aftermarket screen itself so yeah all right then. now let me just start the car to show you guys the infotainment screen before i share you guys my overall turn summary for this car itself so to start the car is very very simple itself just need to insert the key into the keyhole right there all the way for electric power first and you guys can see there's this is what the aftermarket one look like so basically you can just touch on whatever shit that you want to see and yeah that is basically what it does same for this itself so basically you can control the volume right here mute to, to mute okay this is how it works so yeah it's, it's, it's basically this button just the track itself so yeah mode let me see what it does okay mode seems like just go back to home screen itself Navigation, I think, yeah. Ooh, Google Maps, interesting. So, I think probably you can do your own navigation here if you want to. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, that's all for this car itself. Uh, then before I end off the video itself, let me just show you guys some of the function for this car itself. If I could. Okay. So, basically, you got your space for this, uh, here itself right here you got your ref gauge you got your speedo and you got your fuel gauge itself other than that that's all you get itself so very very simple itself and also you got a gear that in right now uh, okay let me just dive straight back to the trip button which i showed you guys just now so basically if i have to press on the trip button you just take note of the bottom right there so basically you got your mileage per gallon fuel to empty your range sorry range to empty and you got your trip a and trip b button itself so yeah other than that, nothing else to tell you about. So that's probably it. Oh yeah, before I end off the video, let me just show you guys how you can adjust the seating for this car itself. So to adjust, basically you just need to pull on, to adjust the steering wheel, you just need to pull on this and the steering wheel column will normally just drop down and you can just adjust it according to your liking itself. So yeah, for the seat wise, you can always, there's this lever right here. If, if you guys can see my hand, this just follow. Basically there's this lever right here where you can pull it and you can slide the seat front or back and there's another button right here you can adjust it for the height and right back here let me just show you guys this sorry let me just show you guys this again so basically you got your seat height adjuster and your seat back adjuster right here itself and last and not least you got trunk finish button right there and your uh fuel fuel Right. the set the fuel tank just need to pull on this for the trunk just press on that itself other than that that's all for this car itself la. so yeah that's all i say for this video itself now let me just share guys my overall turn summary for this car oh yeah before i end up the video itself let me just show you guys the last few bit on top here which i forgot to share with you guys so basically on top you got your sun visors right here which is quite big i think this is the biggest one i've seen so far itself so yeah you also i think it's also to be taken out and you can just swivel to one side and you got even more if you do not want, like basically you can cover the whole driver's side itself. So that's a good thing. So, so yeah. Uh. And the same for the passenger side as well. You can go down and just do this as well. So yeah. For the lights, you just press on it. 
Oh yeah, this is what I mentioned where I don't think this is the original L the light itself. Probably that could have been changed by Tribe when it enters its plate itself. La. So yeah, this to turn off you do not want the light when the doors are open. But I think probably I should leave it off itself. So yeah. Also you got your place to put your sunglasses if you want to put it, it's right here itself. Or you put other stuff inside here itself. If you want to hide it itself. So yeah, other than that, that's all for this car itself. Now let me just share you guys my thought and summary for this car. Alright then, so yeah, basically that's all I say for this video itself. So basically, what am I summary for that car itself? Well, don't really, I don't really have much opinion about the Kia itself. Only, the only thing I, I have to say about is this is my second Kia that I've driven so far. And also, if you talk about uh, first car wise, if let's say if you're a new user to Tribe Car, and I don't think if I'm not wrong, this car is available to P plate drivers at the moment when you first sign up. But I could be wrong itself because I think. Currently, if I'm, I could, I could be wrong on this, but I think, uh, Tribe is Tribe car is adding more variety of cars for P plate drivers to try to try. So if you ask me, uh, is that is that is this car a good car for P plate driver? I would say definitely yes, because at, at least it's not that modern to then to a point where, uh, you might damage it. I would say you damage it easily, easily, but I feel it's a good car for you guys to practice on. Same go for the Vios, the Mitsubishi Astros, and maybe the Honda City or Grace itself. But other than that, I don't really have much to say about this car itself. Overall trunk space and driving wise, it's not too bad, uh, provided the high mileage itself. But overall, it's a good car to, to try out. And for the reversing camera, I forgot to show you guys in the, in the clip itself, but for that car itself, uh, once you engage re in reverse, it will show you guys the the whole screen will be just the the, the what what the rear camera is showing you guys itself and basically whatever audio you're playing it will be it will be paused for the moment when you are reversing the car but once you get back to park or drive it will just resume the audio itself so yeah other than that that's all I say for this video itself if you guys enjoy the video itself you can click on the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this or click on subscribe and to see my two other videos and with that I'll see you guys next video.